Well, we have been sent the unenviable task of picking the greatest ever World Cup men's 11. Now, I don't know about you, Kumar Sagakara, but that strikes me as one of the toughest jobs in the business because going back to 1975 when the first men's World Cup was held, West Indies winning the first couple, then India winning in 83, there's been some greats, been some absolute greats along the way. Where should we start? Uh, that's a good one. Uh, why don't we start from the bottom? Let's start with the bowlers. Right. You know, such an important part of... Bowlers win your tournaments. Yep, batters absolutely. Batters win your games. Yes. Okay, so we'll start with the most important game. people. Yeah, <laughs> certain batters. Right. Maybe can win your tournaments. <laughs> but let's see. <laughs> it's going to be an interesting one, isn't it? Yeah. He started because he's going out I mean, in the public and there'll be so many people who might be happy, unhappy, right. but that's, we that's are, life and cricket. The bottom line is we are going to upset people. <laughs> 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 what happens, we will upset people. But we don't mean to. And it's just our opinion. Everybody's got one. You might have a different one. That's okay. All right, where are we going then? If we want our, our number 11, our you know, best, let's go, start with a seamer or a spinner at number 11. I mean, what are you thinking? Are you thinking I'd, a McGrath? Yeah, the McGrath's record is, is incredible. Yeah. I mean, you've had the Garners and all the greats that have played the Wazi Macrams, but McGrath's record mm. is, it just speaks for himself, uh, for itself. So I think McGrath. McGrath. I okay, well, I'm going to come back at you with one here because I don't know who bats number 11 if we pick Matai Murli Daran. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because you know him better than anyone. Does he bat 10 ahead of McGrath? If we, if we pick him, do we pick him? Is, is he in our World Cup side? Yeah, I think Murley is definitely. Murley and Warren, for me, yeah. pick themselves. Right. For me, no debate. They can bowl in any condition mm. against any batter. And imagine just facing up to McGrath, Murley and Warren as your first three <laughs> options in a side. I reckon you lock Murley and McGrath in a room. Yeah. See who comes out. Murray's not, not coming out standing, is he? Murray's he gets about number yeah. 10. Yeah, okay, Big Glenn's walking out first, so he gets about 10 and Murley bats 11. All right, so that's cemented. Um, you want Warren in there, I want Warren in there. Um, I'm probably guessing he's not number 9. Do we throw another seam bowler in at number 9, or do we but we put Warren at 9, and then do we look at all-rounders? I mean, one guy, look, I I still think the greatest ever left armour in Wazi Makram, is he... Yeah. Sure. He's there. I'm 100 percent there. I mean, what made him? What made him great? I think his just ability to change pace, bowl with with the new ball, mm. um, and, and swing it and seam it, and then coming back through the middle. And at the end, we saw in the '92 World Cup yeah. the deliveries that he bowled when England were just flying, yeah. and about to close down a World Cup. When he came in and changed the game, the ball he bowled to, I think it was Lamb, and then Chris Lewis. Lamb, Lamb swinging in from that far outside off, and then Lewis around the wicket swinging away. It was just yeah, like, what, was the other way around? Yeah, I incredible. think it's the other way around. Other way around Lewis, mass, well, yes. Lamb first, like yeah. round the wicket, reverse out swing. Yeah, and then the other uh, one, massive just incident, incredible. Yeah. So, so there's, there's the, the, the four sort of key components of our bowling attack. You want another seam bowler in, do you want another all-rounder? Would you look at a... Uh, and Imran Khan, would you look at Lance Klusner? Yeah. Would you look, you know, where are you looking for that number seven spot? Yeah, you have Stokes as well. That Stokes, Sean Pollock. Sean Pollock, but you want like a consistent performer over a series of World mm. Cups. And it, it's difficult to look beyond, you know, Imran Khan, what Klusner did in 1999. Yeah. And then, of course, Imran Khan throughout his career being that spearhead. And the innings that he played to change games, including in that 92 World Cup. So mm. I, I would probably, we, we will have to go with Khan. Uh, would, I mean, Khan? I mean, would you have No, I, I tend to agree with you on that. I just, I think to pick a World Cup, you know, greatest ever World Cup team without Imran Khan in it, with what happened in 92 as well, and, and the, you know, the, the, the winning of that World Cup, I think the way he led that side and what he offers across a, a wide range. I think that's, you know, it's not a bad third seamer to have either, is it? <laughs> <laughs> McGrath and Akram, oh, we've just got him run coming in after yeah. that. That's fine, no worries at all. So he's at number seven for us. We're, we're, we're good there. We haven't got a keeper, obviously, as yet. Number six, we're going to work our way from there. Are we looking at um, more? Let's, let's go, to let's the go top. back to the let's top go, now. Let's go back to the okay, top. Okay, let's go to the top. Now. We've got our five bowlers sorted. So our bowling attack is McGrath and Akram up front. Two great spinners in Warren and Mutai Mulidaran and an all-rounder in Imran Khan. Not bad, I think. Good not, start. Not bad. All right, top of the order. Where are you going? Who, who, best openers of all time, World Cup? That's a tough one. I think you like to put Sachin Tendulkar in there. Yeah. For sure. Um, yeah. The volume of runs he scored cons and throughout World yeah. Cups. I mean, it, yeah. impossible to look at. Culminating in 11, wasn't it? So yeah, that, absolutely. You know. His last World Cup that they won. Tendulkar's there. Yep. And then 
Then it's so he's a lock. He's a lock. Right. Tendulkar's a lock. Um, then you have Rohit Sharma, Adam Gilchrist, Matthew Hayden. You, you're not spoiled for choice. You're yet. not. I mean, wicketkeeper wise, uh, I'm going to put your name in there after. <laughs> you know, after, I mean, look, I, I can't. I can't not. You can tell me why you shouldn't be there, but, but I mean, we need a keeper. Are we going to have a keeper batting at five six, or are we going to use a Gilchrist at the top, or yourself, or or someone like that, or do we go with Hayden's record's actually better than Gilchrist, isn't it? At yeah, World Cups, I, I, I think so in terms of his overall performance and the consistency of run making and the impact as well. Uh, Gilchrist scored a magnificent hundred mm. against us in the World Cup final. You know, the the, the 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 only serious amount of runs I think he scored in the entire tournament yeah. reserved for the final. Um, still hate Gilly for that. Uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I mean, so if you're going a keeper in the, in the late middle order, you mm. have perhaps a, the likes of an AB de Villiers perhaps to take yeah. the gloves. Um, and he's had a great run, the mm. fastest century as well, I think, yeah. in terms of World Cup. So we have a choice there. But I mean, if, you, if, if you're really looking at it, either it's got to be either are the Gilchrist at the top mm -hmm. and that's just because to kind of give us the balance of having that wicket keep and make yeah. an impact left hand right hand combination yeah. at the top uh, Sachin bats long and Gilchrist just goes for it so it's a case of balancing this balancing side out, out as well so we'll, we'll stick with Gilchrist and Tendulkar at the top I think it's quite an imposing yeah. opening combination I, I find it very difficult to go past Ricky Ponting I agree at, Ricky at, Ponting at, at three. three absolutely it's, uh, you know, without a doubt it's not a debate that many would have there maybe other options uh, look again i don't know and i'm not sure we're going to disagree too much on number four in the great uh, vivian richards I would are you say happy with that i am absolutely happy with sir vivian richards mm. and i would put aravinda de silva at five yeah and i love that i, I love aravinda at five i mean i've obviously played it could bat anywhere it could bat anywhere. Three, four, five. The, the great thing about ari and and about Sir Viv, as they offer you a little bit of bowling as oh, well, absolutely. if you need, I mean, not that you're going to need much with what we've got, <laughs> but if you had to go down that track with it, I mean, he was more than useful. He, I mean, uh, I remember the De Silva, I remember in 1996, even in the final, I mean, he was an absolutely star of spinner, mm. highly underrated, really smart, had a brilliant arm ball, and even in Lahore on a very flat pitch, with the dew coming on as the innings progressed, mm. Uh, for Australia, who batted first, Aravinda was magnificent and he got crucial wickets right throughout that tournament. So for me, he comes in at five. Right, so there's our one to five, and we've got our five bowlers, and our keepers included in Adam Gilchrist. Number six, debate number six, because where do we go? Do we have a genuine batter? Do we have another all round option? Uh, look, I go back to the 76, uh, 75 79 World Cups. I think Clive Lloyd, oh. unbelievable captain. I know we've got some other captains already in the side, but could he lead that side from six? Steve Waugh, World Cup winner. Where else do we look at that number six role? Who else are you thinking in those sorts of, well, that out sort of, of the, position? Out of, out of the modern era, you have A.B. A.B. De Villiers, who can come in as well. I mean, you have Vivian Richards, who can captain. Mm. Lara Vindo, who's got an amazing cricket brain um, as well there. Ricky Ponting, who's mm. one I can't, Great captain. I can't remember how many World Cups. He's won, <laughs> he's won quite a few. So you've got enough captains. Right. Um, and I think it depends again, you know, uh, it's, it's, a, it's a really tough choice. You have A.B. De Villiers who can be absolutely destructive, bat with the tail, and can you imagine Imran Khan to mm. follow A.B. And so I don't know, I'm, 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 I'm quite conflicted here. The nip, they've not won a World Cup, obviously, South Africa. Yeah. We don't have a South African in there. Are we leaving any, we've got, we, we don't have an Englishman from the 19 World Cup. Uh, in that side, Where, are we? Is there anyone there that could possibly be? I mean, Stokes there as, a, as is a pure batter. Stokes is the only option, isn't it? But uh, for me, Stokes has to be a bowling, yeah, bowling batter. If he's doesn't make it just as a batter ahead of yeah. a Clive Lloyd or ahead of a AB De Villiers, he, he's not going to make it just as a pure batter. So uh, mainly because it's it's been that one World Cup. He yeah. was magnificent in that World yeah. Cup, and, and 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 probably has every right to be debated mm. really strong as being when you take a series of World Cups and players who have played multiple ones. Um, Stokes is definitely a candidate, but mm. it's again, you know, Clive Lloyd's one. He knows yes. how to win and bat yeah. under pressure in, yeah. in that sense. So does Stokes. Mm. Stokes is a lefty, and if he's bowling, he's such a valuable asset. Yeah. So, I mean, when you have that that five, and then the, do we really need a six? Why don't well, we just play with 10? We've, <laughs> we've, got to, we've got to go with one. So let's narrow it down, all right? So let, I mean, we've talked about Clive Lloyd, Steve Waugh, yeah. in that spot, A.B. de Villiers, Ben Stokes. 
I don't know. I, I would I would narrow those four down to A B de Villiers and Clive Lloyd. Okay. As my top two. Would you be happy with those top I'd, two? I'd be, I'd be happy with those top two. And then two. we're going to paper, scissors, rock. I'm going to go, you're going to go with AB. I'm going to go with Clive Lloyd. So we're going to go paper, scissors, rock as to who fills that sixth okay. spot, all right? No, hold on. It's one, two, three, one, and then oh, no, okay, one, two. Oh, all right. So now we can't even get paper, okay. scissors, and rock. Right? Okay. One, <laughs> two, two, three. You win. Clive Lloyd makes the side. Well done, Clive. You're in there. Not sure you're yeah. not. But that is our World Cup greatest 11 of all time. And it's just mine and Sanger's opinions. Please don't get angry. Please don't get grumpy <laughs> with us on social media. That's what we've come up with. What do you think?